Right, you ready? So last video and then we consolidate our midterm questions. So a line will be a tangent to the circle. So if it intersects the circle once, now we've actually actually done that and the these ones. This is me writing fast. I don't want to go and have a dinner, I'm starving. So if it intersects a circle once. So a tangent, if it just touches, so I'm not trying to get this line on so it just touches. So it's not a tangent if it's got two points crossing. So this one here I'm looking at, in terms of the discriminant, I'm saying that b squared minus 4ac is 0. This one here I'm saying that b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. And this one is saying that b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So we'll add on here that b squared minus 4ac is 0. Right. So we've actually done one of these at the end of the second lesson. So where we... In fact, if I go back, I've got it written because I just did it before. Where is it? There. Sub the line into the circle, make the quadratic, and check the discriminant. So we've actually done this already randomly, so let's do it again. So sub the line into the circle. Check. And that's expand it. So then I've got, oh, got 10x squared. I've got 60x. 90. In the olden days, we'd have divided through by 10, but now we're just expanding poly, won't we? Then I'm going to check b squared minus 4ac. So that's 60 squared minus 4 lots of 10 times 90. So 3600, 980, 36. 36 with two zeros on the end. So b squared, I oh, ah, don't do that, keep that there, uh, that's what I want to do. So b squared minus 4ac is 0, therefore y equals 3x plus tangent is a tangent. So, so. Job, job, to finish that part, loads of exam questions to do. Uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, not there yet. See you later. Bye.